The NDC currently has 106 seats out of the 275 seats in Parliament. Unlike previous years, the party is not holding elections in all the 275 constituencies. It has decided to do so in 201 constituencies. The NDC's General Secretary, Johnson Asiedun Ketia, explains why. Prior to the opening of nominations, the party had contracted... um, you know, an organization to do some research work focusing on each constituency, its characteristics, the problems, challenges, possible candidates, and so on, so that we can have that as a guide as we approach the elections. And we chose to begin the election in those constituencies where the exercise had been completed. During the filing of nominations, five constituencies, namely Asawase, Yilokrobo, Umpoho, and Fantiakwa, experienced some disagreements. For instance, in the Asawase constituency, where the minority chief whip, Mohamed Mubarak Muntaka, is MP, there were tensions in the party. NDC regional executives refused to collect their nomination forms of Masawudu Mubarak, who is contesting the incumbent MP. Masawudu alleged the executives sidelined him to allow the incumbent MP go unopposed. Mr. Esiodun Ketia explains why the primaries in Asawasi and other four constituencies have been put on hold. Mbele. You see, if a constituency had been put on hold because of uh, one or two reasons, and then a day or two before elections, some results come. Some other processes have taken place in other constituencies without that particular constituency. So it could be one of the reasons why Elembele is still on hold. The party also cautioned aspirants and their supporters against all forms of campaigning during the primaries on Saturday. It is prohibited for you to be canvassing for votes. No pictures or effigy of parliamentary aspirants shall be allowed again within 500 meters of the voting center. So don't approach the voting center in the t-shirt of your uh, favored aspirants. If you go there, you will be denied the right to vote and the police will walk you out. He also outlined what the party will do in the unlikely event of a tie between candidates after the first round of voting. In the event of a candidate not obtaining the required votes, of simple majority. There will be a runoff as provided for under Article 41 of the party's constitution. So at the uh, close of pool, if we open and count, and then there is a tie at the top. In fact, those who tie at the bottom, we don't care about them <laughs> because you are all rushing to, <laughs> to be last. But those, <laughs> those who tie at the top, That's where we will have to rerun the election at a future date so a clear winner can emerge. The NDC says it will not open nominations for now in 74 constituencies, but it has put on hold um, the elections in five constituencies, including that of Elembele and Asawase. My name is Kojo Ajman reporting for City News.